absolutely adore her. And let's see if she's here. She is here. Hi, Larry. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm okay, darling. How are you? I'm so glad. I'm so good. Um, I'll tell you, I have to tell you, I am oh. so glad that um, we're very connected and we're friends. And, um, oh, honestly, it's been a couple of years, hasn't it? Yes. Um, Laurie and I had this little chat before we got on, and I was like, Laurie, I'm sensing some <laughs> negative energy from people that are jealous of us and that don't want to see us do this live. And it's funny because when my friend Tyson last week, the same thing happened. It's like they tune in, the haters tune in, and they send this negative energy, and it disturbs the connection. And I felt the same thing was happening. Well, guess what? As soon as I was about, I was going to be right on point at 2 o'clock. My internet connection <laughs> is not working. I'm like, this really? Is crazy. It wasn't working. It wow. Was, so I'm, on, I'm, I'm actually on my phone's Wi-Fi, which is strong, right, okay. thank God. And I'm able to make it on here, but I knew that this was going to happen. Like I knew it. So it's um, typical. It's typical. It's crazy. But, but like, that's one thing about a shaman. You have to have the negative with the positive. So yep. it gives you balance in the first place. So Hi, I'm Pam, glad that people Pam's are here. trying to stop it. They can't stop us, hunty. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. I was like, <laughs> too bad. So sad. They couldn't do it because Marie and I were like, we knew we, we had this little chat and it, we're like, Something is going to happen. I know something's going to happen. And it happened. <laughs> it's typical. It's absolutely it typical. It really is. So, um, guys, for those of you that are tuning in, my Rays of Light and fans of Lurie and her followers, <laughs> um, welcome to another episode of Soul Chat with Rain. My guest is Lurie Sloan. I love her absolutely. Lurie, tell them a little bit about your soul, sweetheart, and what, uh, where you're well, located. I am located in England, in West Yorkshire, so it's the top part. We're just a little nugget in England, in the UK. Um, I'm about four hours away from London, so this is why I've got this weird accent. I am a clairvoyant medium and a shaman. I'm a Reiki master and teacher, um, and that's what I do for a living. I do readings via tarot cards, and I do healings, and I teach people about chakras and tarot cards and how to ascend and open up the soul star chakra. So it's mainly all weird shit. Yes. <laughs> That's what we say. It's weird, weird shit, but I love the weird shit. We I are the weirdos, it. right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I feel like I'm a starseed light worker. And I feel like that's exactly who you are. And because yes. of that, all is one. Everything is connected anyway. We are. And what I like about your spirit and your soul is that you're so authentic and you have this spunk to you. Kind of like I do. Like we say things that we, we mean and we mean it. And we don't give a, you know, a crap about what other people tend to No, think definitely about not. Because I if you live like, like that. I feel like the Irish blood. Yeah. <laughs> it is the Irish <laughs> blood. I have a, a small percentage of Irish. And I know that you do too. And it's, yes. it's beautiful. It's beautiful that, you know, we are connected in all of this. Now, can you refresh my memory? I'm so bad at this. Like, how did we meet? Was it, it was through Instagram, right? It was through Instagram and we both <laughs> exchanged readings <laughs> on each other. And it was like, I love Raymond. And yes. he was like, I love Laurie. And we I formed a bond Laurie. through that. You are so, like, those of you that are listening today, you need to book a reading with Laurie. If you have never had a good And all of my experience. followers need to book one with Raymond. It's amazing. <laughs> she oh. is to the point, like, in depth. She doesn't give you this sugar-coated little, you know, like, you know, some people do. I'm not going to talk bad about people. But, you know, there's some readers that just kind of give generalities, even though they yes. use cards. They don't just... read reverses as no. well. They don't read reverses on the tarot. But in my opinion, it's very important to read those reverses because that's how you can troubleshoot things and, and get over things and oppose things. And yeah. that's what I do. I am a person that understands cycles and ancestry patterns. And that's what I do. I just get straight to the shit. I don't try to... Um, candy floss things so it sugarcoats you into the, the 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 message i just tell you exactly what spirit want you to know yes and what i like about it is that you don't just go off of the cards itself 
you incorporate I your feel own it. abilities, your own spiritual abilities. And through your readings, I have like I have received a lot of healing from your readings, from just like, you know, the crap that I go through, you know what it's about. I'm not gonna go into details, but we all go yeah, through it, darling. Me and you do. both. And and it's hard, you know, I'm still coping with it because you never get used to it, even though it's like a no. part of life. So you never get a certain part doesn't get used to it. So it's like, you know, I'm growing and, and I see what you're doing with um with your you know, your students and helping them uh grow on their path and it's just so wonderful seeing all these people graduate with their certificates, you know, certified Reiki masters. Yeah. And that's amazing what you're doing because that's what I feel like I'm doing through uh different means like through my YouTube readings and things you like are, that. You are and you're platform. very open. Yeah, to kind of help people and a better understand what we do so they won't be afraid of it because I think some exactly people think of tarot card readers and they think well a tarot card reading is just going to be basic and it's not you know it's not it's it's very in depth the tarots do it just depends what type of yeah and i feel if i'm honest with you when you go to a, a a genuine reader they should be able to sense what's going on with you before the yeah. cards even start to pop out and i believe that's what a genuine reader is i don't try to ram shit down your throat i just talk exactly what you need to know and i feel like you're exactly the same we just yeah. get to the heart of the matter but i think sometimes our well my bluntness anyway because i can be very blunt i feel like that can sometimes be um understood by people as being quite abrupt but yeah. i don't know how to um help people to get to a problem without telling them exactly what it is it could be as far back as your grandfather's mother's mm -hmm. sister it could be really far back in your lineage and you will suffer the pain through your family until somebody understands and mm -hmm. is alerted to why certain things run through your family meaning mental illness physical illness yes. it could be anything and like you said it's like it's like that it's like we pull uh we go back into the the deep part of the inner psyche of the soul like we pull things exactly. that, that uh bring healing but they're not going to necessarily be comfortable when you listen to it and i think yeah. a lot of people you know are afraid sometimes that you know we're gonna you know see death or say something like that but it's not like that that's not how spirit works spirit is going to bring you it's going to make you feel a little uncomfortable in the moment but later on yeah. you're going to learn to appreciate the information that is coming forth from spirit because it's exactly uh, in depth and it's healing for you a lot of people don't want to feel the pain they don't want to go and remember those memories but if you don't revisit that you're never going to heal and so this I is like exactly why i've this is the main thing that i i like to do i like to help people to face emotions and feelings that they've tucked away somewhere like sometimes people have got regressional memories from 18 months old and yeah. i'll just twig on to something an item of clothing they used to wear when they were younger and somehow it twigs their memory back to when they did have that traumatic time and that's what i heal and move that pattern out of your body so then you can ascend but every single ascension i cannot stress enough is hard oh my it god is. it's like taking your clothing off and running down hollywood boulevard with your tits out <laughs> quite literally it, it really is <laughs> it's also going to involve tears it's going to be uh, you're going to cry you're going to you're going to go through that ugly crying and that ugly faces and you know you're going to go through the emotions you want to see you know, mine <laughs> i'm an ugly crier you don't want to see mine <laughs> i am too i'm like this i know it is it really is intense when it, it comes down to healing and i think people just think oh well i send you off with love and light and everything's going to be okay or you buy a certain candle and it's it, and that's going to fix everything and it's not yes. just about that it's it's about you taking ownership to a certain point and kind of going through the transformational healing and i yes. i love that about you that you bring that out Which of people is like conditioning yeah. yeah it's also the conditioning. conditioning raymond because our parents grow us up and one parent may like coffee one may like tea and we will grow up thinking that we every morning we should drink coffee or tea but who told us that who made us believe what was right and what was wrong who made negativity an actual real thing how do you know that negativity is an actually positive 
there's an old Japanese proverb about um, an ornament dropping mm -hmm. and they fill it with gold afterwards. Wow. They put it back together and they fill the cracks with gold. And that's how they see ascension. You need to break in order for the light to come in. And that's what I strongly believe. And that's what I've done over and over. And I believe you've done the exact same thing, broken over and over again to rebuild and rise like the phoenix. Yes. And, and it's not easy, but like you said, it's well worth the, the reward. I wanted to ask you, because I'm so curious. Uh, I know that you are clairvoyant like I am, and we see the good, yes. but I also see bad things too, like uh, negative entities, yes. demons, stuff like that. Do you also have those kind of uh, experiences like you see? Them? Yes, with with me personally, it tends to be with people. Um, I've okay. got an antenna, I see it yes. as. It's like something invisible is going out of my head, and yes. I can just feel everything around me. And this can be unintentional feelings from people. I can mm -hmm. feel it. It can be a passing thought. I can feel it. And I know if I'm welcomed in a space or or if something feels like it's awkward for another person and then I try to be accommodating. This is yes. the, the, the beauty of being a student to life because we all are. And I feel like that's the, the process that I'm learning to yes. not feel bad for feeling everything. Yes. And I, I, I love believe you're the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same as you. Like when I go and there's negative energy, I won't feel good. Uh, I will internally process it and I start feeling sick, either an upset stomach, yes. a headache, nausea. That's why I wear these. Yes. <laughs> black tourmaline. My, well, I got black the tourmaline. Out. I had black tourmaline. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. I've got yeah, Moldavite and black tourmaline on. I love Moldavite and I love black tourmaline. They're my go-tos. Um, yeah, they're amazing. So I, that's what I was going to ask you next. You read my mind. <laughs> I was going to ask you, like, what is your favorite crystal? I wanted to know. And so is it Moldavite? Um, it would be Moldavite. And I also love this as well. Um, it's called Tormulated Quartz. Yes, Rutilated Quartz, right? Yeah, I've got like a big block of it. And I love this ring. My mal uh, Malachite ring. I got it too. Look, the, you see that? that's, that's the stone that you are picking up. The Rutilated yes. Quartz. I yeah. love this stone. It is so. <laughs> oh my God. That is crazy. It's so protective. Because Spirit so told me this morning before we got this live to pull, uh, to change my rings. Because I always change my rings uh, when, depending yeah. on how I feel. And they said, pull this. Uh, this Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it with the light, but it's a, a tourmalated. It's the one, like you said, it's a rutilated. Yes. Uh, I quartz. can see it. It got like black yeah. tourmaline with crystal quartz in it. I've got a ring of that. Yeah, <laughs> that's so weird. I bought you... mine from uh, Morocco. I was oh touching the man's shoulder. Yeah, you won't it was so it, weird because my ancestry so... is from Morocco. <laughs> I have ancestral lineage in Morocco. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I, I never said that to anybody, but that's part of the West the, of Africa. That my African lineage it's from Morocco and West Africa. That is amazing. Wow. <laughs> I think that should be a trip that me and you take together. Yes, that is amazing. We should go to Morocco. It well, is I've seen your, your stuff. Uh, I've seen your trip. You've taken a trip over there and done some healing on someone. Yeah. I, I saw have. that journey. It was about a year ago, wasn't it? And oh, how it was, was that? I think it was roughly around two years ago, maybe. Two years and ago. I went over there. I went to Ezawira and... Um, I was holding the man's shoulder, the jeweler that actually made the ring, and I uh -huh. could feel his wife. And I just said to him, I can feel your wife because it, it's not um, something that I'm, I don't think he's used to having people coming into his shop and telling him about the people that are in spirit around him. And he was just crying and crying and crying and I feel so grateful to be able to go anywhere in the world and just touch somebody and be like, bring them some comfort. Because I feel like that's what you and I could have done with growing up. We could have done yes. with light workers like us to say, listen, it's okay. You're not weird. You're not the person that, that's strange and shouldn't be in a place. And, and you're an empath. And this is how you protect yourself from these things. And this is what clairvoyance means. And this is what that voice was telling you about that person. And this yes. is what that means, that ache on your body when you stood in front of another person. I genuinely feel another person's pain 
So it, it's it's been it's taken till me being about twenty eight for me to start to understand who I actually am. Yeah, I understand completely what you're saying. It's like when I was growing up as a you know psychic child, clairvoyant, uh, and also a healer. I'm a healer myself, but it's I do it oh. in different ways through the readings, and I can lay hands on people and heal them too. Uh, yes, you fall into the a Reiki category, but I just don't promote that too much, which I need to. Some some of my friends have told me, Ray, you're a healer. You need to uh, go in that path. Now. Definitely do darling yeah you definitely do i feel like to... it'd be really lovely i'd be honored to attune you to that i yeah, feel I... like it would be something really special between us both to do definitely, definitely. If, if anyone's going to be my teacher it's going to be you for my uh reiki and attunement and definitely with you as well i always run yeah. to you <laughs> i need some advice <laughs> i need to do it but one of the things that i was going to say is that when i was growing up small child I used to suffer from a lot of pains and uh, pains on my legs, like from the yeah. where the shin, shins are on your legs on the front Which of your legs. Which is usually it's usually emotional defensiveness that yes. that's usually when you have to always feel like you've got to defend yourself and um, watch how other people communicate towards you. So that's your innocence, that that's your naivety growing up and not yeah. actually understanding. Yeah, you poor yeah. thing. It was it was painful, oh. and, and the doctors wouldn't have any diagnosis for it. No one. They never do. No, they don't. And, and it was like I was just like, what is going on every night before bed? You know, at a certain time I would have these strong, strong pains, and eventually I would just be so exhausted from the pain that I would go to sleep. Oh. Uh, and then finally, like when I got into my teens, it went away. It it went away. Like I don't have yes. that anymore. Thank goodness. But yeah, it was a lot of you know. I'm watching these uh, shows. Those that are pains about. Those pains are usually, um, they usually come from an energetic place, I believe, personally. I don't believe that anything has got to do, they don't need medicinal um, pharmaceuticals. I know yeah. I'm going to get shot for saying this, but I do believe that uh, the government train us to believe that we need pharmaceuticals to be able to survive when really we need homeopathic remedies we need to be out in the nature we need to be drinking ayahuasca we need to be going to yes. retreats and we and need to be doing these sugar. things avoiding sugar uh you know refined sugar because yes. like i have seen the that is hard now that i have like eliminated sugar from my diet completely um it's a right. wow. I'm no longer getting swelling or the inflammation. I'm no longer getting That's the pains that I would have. Yes, it is crazy what sugar can do to a person. Like I really didn't understand it until I know, now. darling. It's yeah. It used to make my readings a little bit more tough. Uh -huh. I used to feel like I was trying to open my crown and it was a little harder. So I moved on to coconut sugar because it's just yes. completely natural. And that gave me a little bit of a fix of the sugar because I'm still the girl that will finish readings and listen to 21 Savage. <laughs> yes. I'm, that listens to, I'm formal, you see. I listen to like all of the music that everybody else listens to. I don't always listen to, listen to vibrational frequencies. So with me being normal, yes. I like to have a good balance of both. Yeah, like I think people think that sometimes we just have to live in a spiritual state of being and that we listen to frequencies and we burn incense and we go through, you know, <laughs> these, these uh, meditations and that's all of our life and we do readings and that's it. But no, we have to, you have to have balance. Like you said, you can't just yes. make it all about work. You have to balance it and kind of go out of town, travel, uh, listen to your favorite music, watch your favorite shows, you know, exactly. and just live a life that, you know, you were meant to live. I think a lot of us are, you know, kind of like restricting ourselves a little bit too much because like you said, society has these rules that, oh, well, you know, it's not ladylike to do this or it's not, you know, you're not being a gentleman if you're doing this. And, and so we have to kind of think kind of outside We have to break down the walls and the barriers of um, everything, really. I feel like people just need to drop the social conditioning, and the more that the social conditioning drops, the more people can take accountability for things, and then I believe that everybody else will be able to evolve and ascend in comfort and freedom to be themselves always, rather 
rather than being in a position where they feel like they've got to hold themselves back. And this is the whole point of all an analogy of um, us being like a beach. We need to know our significance and our insignificance at the same time. And we are about as significant yeah, as a I grain of sand 100%. on a beach. Uh, can everybody, uh, can you see me, Lorene? Okay, there you are. <laughs> yeah. That just took Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think hey. the Wi-Fi was going off. I don't know <laughs> if it was your Wi-Fi. There, I can see you. <laughs> can... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I could see you the whole time. I'm just watching you like. <laughs> Okay, I can't see like your screen. It's like freezing up. Can anybody else see Larie's screen? I can hear you now, I think. Can you hear me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> can you hear me a bit better now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, better? can you hear me? One thing I think that has helped me a lot, you know, but... I honor my feelings, so but if I felt quite um, depressed, I would go feeling, acknowledge the feeling, thank spirit for making me acknowledge the feeling, and then release it. And somehow, you tend to find that you purge it. Somewhere down the line, you will purge the ancestry pattern or any sort of violation, assault, anything that you've gone through. And I believe that that's marked the strength of my ability because I came out of being psychic shortly after going through quite a few traumatic things that right. I might So for you it was trauma that kind of heal my that opened up your abilities myself out of and said no to pharmaceuticals. I think it's buffering again. Can you hear me? I, I can't hear you. <laughs> massively i believe that's what happens with people they always go through some things that yep i oh, okay. can hear you it better yeah, i can hear you better no yes, oh I god <laughs> is it better now yes. oh. is it a bit better now it's better yes <laughs> Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So I I, uh, I love that. Will somebody? Can you hear me? I can hear you, Barry. That he has the Ascended Masters ones. That deck, I believe I have, and I have another one. I need to pick up that deck. I didn't know he came out with another one, but I love Kyle. Yes. He is amazing. <laughs> yeah. If I could, I'd be eating them. <laughs> me too. And if I could wear crystals on my shoes, I'd be wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I love crystals. I love them completely. Um, I was going to ask you, like, when I'm, we're here in America, right? I'm here in America, and spirituality to me. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna just say it the way it is. Here in America, spirituality, I feel like is not yeah. fully accepted. Like, I started off doing a lot of readings for people out of Australia when I first started. I love Australia. Australia is very open to spirituality. I also started doing a lot of readings Massively. for the UK, for people in the UK. And a lot of, I love the UK, like everybody in the UK, well, I won't say everybody, but a lot of people are open to magic. To yes, magic, massively. To, um, reading, psychic readings. Um, one of the biggest psychics that came out of England, uh, out of the UK, was Lisa Williams. And she came to the US. And so, um, I wanted to ask you, because I feel like the U.S. is shifting in consciousness and a lot more people are becoming more spiritual. But do you feel like in the U.K., in your country right now, that spirituality is kind of taboo or is it fully accepted? Um, in England, it tends to be segregated. There's 50% of people that tend to think, oh, that's a witch. Are you must be doing some bad shit and then there's other people that are totally accepting of it and if i'm honest with you i feel like it's because i make it look a little bit yeah. cool you make 
spirituality look cool. And I believe that we're the pe people that are supposed to help the younger generation to understand it's really, it's a good thing to get into. But in the UK, it's definitely segregated. But I do believe that um, we're very lucky. Yes. But if you go to Ireland, they're way oh, more know, accepted. I know. I have uh, my friend, it. Michelle White, Dove. she has origins, and then Jennifer Waller to Ireland, and um, I've seen them go to, to Ireland, and how accepting it is, and the spirituality is beautiful, and so that's what I was wanting to ask you to find out, because yeah. it's always different to hear it from someone that's living in that country, you know, what is the spirituality like? I feel like this is all around the world, um, that, you know, spirituality is becoming more, like you said, 50-50, and eventually, I feel like people can no longer, yes. like, um, no longer rejected to a certain point, they're going to believe. They can't deny us because some of the predictions that mm -hmm. we make, and that's what I love to do. I love it when people come and I predict something and it happens yes. so far away yes. from them. They could never have foreseen it and I could have never known it. And that's what I love. I love it when people turn their objective around and they start to understand that this is very fucking real. Yeah, it's very real. Sorry for the swearing. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> I can't help myself, but it's very real. I, it's so real. It is, it is real, and I feel like a lot of the uh, the younger generation, like you said, they're becoming more, um, they're the rainbow children, the crystal children. They're becoming very, uh, you know, attuned yes. to the spirits, and it's like their parents now that, maybe were believers or they were indigos or they're indigos now they're they're kind of like i think i th think it didn't help raymond i think that it started when films came out and there was the psychic with the glass ball throwing rabbits in a pan and boiling them watching things like this when we are actually psychic people can be quite <laughs> insulting because it's not um, a true indication of who we are. We are people that are quite light-hearted. Sometimes we have heavy feelings, but of the people that are around us. And we are very self-deprecating people. And I feel like that is not shown in a no, positive light of right. us. So this is why we yeah, have I a duty. I see a lot of memes yeah. and I see a lot of people posting on Instagram that that Zoltar, you know, that uh, that guy that's in the, it's like an, it's inside of a glass and he'll tell you your fortune if you put a, a coin in it. It's called Zotar or something like that. I'm like, that's what people, <laughs> you know, they, um, they, I think people have, they you know, think uh, we are. have kind of put us in a bad line. Like we're gypsies and we just wear, and there's nothing wrong being a gypsy, but they feel like we're just fortune tellers telling people lies. And that's not what what we do exactly. and it's not who we are and it's like we have to cut we're going to always be judged to a certain point when you say psychic so that's why i like using a lot more clairvoyant because because it explains yes. the gift of what a clairvoyant is uh and i think it takes the stigma away yes. from the word psychic I, I don't see i don't see psychic as a, like a dirty word but a lot of people kind of like like read no. it, you know and they they hear the word psychic and they're automatic like you said their senses and their mind goes to something negative. Like it's, you know, like charlatans and stuff like that. Yes. But it's not how it is. So um, guys, if y'all have questions for Lurie and myself about spiritual things that we're talking about, please be sure to comment in the comments, uh, you know, and, and let us know um, as we're doing this. I think I did see one of them. I'm going to scroll back up. Um, Jesse yeah, of said, course. I just tell them to, I do these things to help them and open their mind a little bit, but regardless uh, if they believe it or not. That's true. That's how you're supposed to do it. Yes. And I, th I feel like that's the way to get clear, <laughs> concise messages, not wondering what the message means. Yeah. You know, literally, a person could walk through the door and I could see broken tissue paper. If that's what I'm seeing, that's what I'm Same. saying I see. So just tell that lady to just carry on doing what she's doing because she's clearly doing a good job, but she definitely doesn't need validation from nobody. No, and the only other thing that is bad about that is like, well, it's good, but you know, when you start doing readings um, for people, sometimes they want more and more, but they don't want to pay you for your service or have an even exchange. And that's like, I have a lot of people that come to me and ask me, um, in my DMs, they slide into my DMs and they're asking me, do you, um, can you give a one, a one question <laughs> reading for free? And I'm like, no, 
Oh, I get those. I know. Oh, I'm like, that's an automatic block for me. It's just because it's very disrespectful to me. <laughs> that's how I see that disrespectful because, yeah. I mean, it's like, would you go to Whataburger and our, I mean, would you go to McDonald's? Everybody knows what McDonald's is. And would you just go for ask, and for, ask a hamburger for a burger with only one slice of the bread and not the meat or anything? Like, you know, I mean, common sense, you wouldn't go there and ask just for one ice cube in your, in your, um, no way. <laughs> exactly the upsetting thing, Raymond. It's actually the us understanding that this takes our This is actually something that spirit has a tool. And when taken for granted, I feel like this is the whole reason why we understand the balance then because believe that we get those messages of not needing to display the message because sometimes people need to learn lessons for themselves as well yeah absolutely i do believe that you can't take a horse to water and drink it sometimes you know you've got to just guide people and point them in the right direction and hope for the best yeah for i've that had person. some that are like you know well i've had a reading with you know many psychics and um i you know tell me something give me something because i don't want to waste my money or my time um you know getting another reading and people can't read me or they read me and it has nothing to do with what is going on and what i tell them is like if you really want a, <laughs> if you really want a reading you know check out <laughs> testimonials check out you know my work uh, on my youtube channel listen to what i do so you can get a better understanding uh and then you can make your decision but i'm never going to force someone or you know kind of change who i am to uh, to uh, convince anyone of my gift it, it, that's not how it works and that's just how i see it yes um somebody says we just need to keep doing what we do as light workers and whoever is strong to us po yeah or poaching people yeah. yeah um what do i charge for yes. personal readings That's I, the um charge uh, typically for and it depends you would have to go to my website to see all the pricings i'm not going to give them out on here because there's just different readings that i offer you'll have to see them but i do uh i have my email reading on sale yeah uh Laurie, i wanted to talk about you if people want to get in contact with you for readings how can they get in uh in contact with you sweetheart if they slide into my dms <laughs> <laughs> if they message me on the okay. readings or email me i'll put my email address on the search bar or on my bio and then they can message me and i'll get back to them and sort they're reading out for them car sad look absolutely to. and uh, guys like i said i highly recommend Lorene for um re am i saying your first name right you're oh. saying it perfectly <laughs> nobody says my first I'm name correct like good names <laughs> when i pronunciate them i have like a, an issue with pronouncing words and a uh, name so i'm like i hope i didn't get it wrong well you've got it down to a t yay <laughs> <laughs> you have not at all you've got it perfect thank you um oh, i also wanted to ask I you like you. if if a person is interested in you teaching them reiki like i would be interested in you teaching me reiki can you do it online even though you oh. can you can do reiki online i feel like that's very popular in america as well to do for people to receive comments online i like to be able to speak to people on the phone and i like to be able to tell them and help them through things because i've got to teach you how to write chinese signs and things like that so yeah anything's possible okay. but online is definitely something that a lot of people in america tend to veer towards yeah. and i do it personally i do it i touch all and i actually can do it online that's as well. amazing so guys you heard it if you're here in america and you are interested in getting certified uh, for Reiki uh, and learning Reiki, this is your go-to gal. I recommend Lurie 100%. She is the real deal. She really does bring healing oh. to her messages. <laughs> oh, I mean it. Thank I mean you, that. Dad. Not just because we're friends. You are the real deal. And I'm really just so grateful that, you know, you are here today. Thank you. <laughs> You're fading in and out. The voice I I can't hear. It. I know, I and I, I 
definitely know for a fact that you're the real deal. Oh. Yeah. Thank you so the much. The stuff that you've said about me, Raymond, nobody could have known. Yeah. And that's the lovely part about Definitely. Our no, it's, it's like true. I'm looking at, at myself in the mirror. At the end of the day, you have to give, give credit where credit is due. And you're definitely... Thank you. Was it buffering? Yeah, it was buffering. And now it's back. I, I was literally you. just saying how fabulous you I are. Can, hear, can you hear me? It's her energy. I it's know. So intense. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> And now I can't. <laughs> it goes in and yeah. out. It goes yes, in I can and out. Hear you, so. perfectly. you can? Okay. Can you yes, hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. And I'm actually in. My body's. You're... Yes. <laughs> it's intense. It's like it's, it's ruining Instagram. <laughs> We're breaking the internet, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you. Um, on, 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 actually, <laughs> can you hear me? Work it. Okay. I wanted to ask you about your, um, mind, body, and soul. Like, when you. I can hear okay, you perfect, I can darling. Hear you too. I wanted to ask you about mind, body, and soul. What are some of the techniques that you do to kind of, uh, alleviate stress and kind of, you know, alleviate negative energy that you may be, um, absorbing from, you know, people, just being around people? chakras being balanced you know because uh, a lot of times they're not yes. balanced they're like you know after like let's say i have a reading with someone that's going through so many issues and i had to um i had to read them um i'll come out of that feeling so discombobulated and everywhere and so i need to you know kind of uh, recenter myself before i go on to the next one uh, before i do anything really because they can just make me um feel very ill um physically ill uh, if I don't do it. So that's what I do. So it's interesting. I love what all the techniques that you've said, those are things that I implement as well. Like, uh, using it. Wow. Oil. I love essential oils. I've been using like vanilla and lavender to, um, to relax me because I find that lavender relaxes me a lot with vanilla. I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like the, the glass. Ooh. Yeah. No. no. Lavender is absolutely amazing for the third eye chakra and for relaxing of the total body. I feel like grounding is the more that you ground because a lot of your chakras are in the base of of your feet which help the organ up the rest of your body so if you can ground yourself that's always an amazing four dimensional glass box anything away from me oh, okay that helps me massively yeah, i understand um and that is that's amazing the way you explained it um i want to thank you so much Lorene, sweetheart for being here today oh well somebody asked how do you unblock block chakras how do you unblock uh unblock block chakras it's basically but just for instance, I think about clouds. I I think about clouds and the north. Sure. When you're a light worker, you have. That we need to tap the back of our our back, right? Uh, the very back. Yeah. And that kind of helps with the. Uh... Yeah, because in spiritual realm. Your wings, if you had angel uh -huh. wings at that part of your back. So it's very important to always heal that part of your back. And then you will feel the energy. I like to visualize gold light coming from the top of my head all the way running down the back of my shoulders. And that's how you will move a lot of other people's problems that they put onto your shoulders. And can you also repeat like um, uh, up the part of where... You were saying about the chakras, like visualizing the different colors. We didn't get to hear all of that. Yeah. Was... Of course. So for the crown chakra, I would think about clouds. I'd think about the sky because that's the bright.
whitest um, okay. and the whitest part of the world. And then, then I'd go down to here. I'd be thinking about lavender fields. Nine times I've been the south of France. I'd be going through the lavender in them and letting them die. The ocean for the throat. Okay. Grass. If you went for grass with the heart. If you don't want to go with grass because that's green for the heart chakra. If not, go for pink. So think of pink roses. Place them inside of your heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> Once you've done that, you go into the sun. I always look of sunflowers with the solar plexus because that's got seeds in the middle, which is everlasting life, which will give you everlasting energy and everlasting pizzazz. I love so, it. I believe in the flowers for that. And then when you're going down to the sacral chakra, this is more orange. So I go to fire because the fire is more or amber. You know, if you go to something that's a rich orange color, if you don't want to do that, think of oranges, think of grapefruits, think of clementines. If you think of things like that, that's what you could push into your sacral. And then when I think of red, I always think of a, a ruby red stone. Something okay. very precious. Like and then you push that thing. into that area. Yeah, darn it. Yes. Okay. That is perfect, yeah. Lurie. I just wanted to make sure that we uh, that we reconnected so I could tell you how much I am grateful for you to do this no, live. No, I am me. more grateful for you too, <laughs> my love. Honestly, um, the love is real. Do, I think we should do another live as well since this one was kind of uh, chopped chopped up. And yeah, I'd be honored. Yeah, I, I'll be honored to to have you. Maybe I can do it on your channel on on your Instagram live. Uh, but we I'd love to, and I definitely want to do it probably sometime in September if you're up for that. I really would of do course. it uh, with you, and um, we'll spend another hour on.